my twofer. I'm on the gold. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I got a big one. Nuggets, nuggets everywhere. Crevice full of nuggets. Hello everyone, Dan Her with Dan Her Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I hope you like what you see enough to subscribe to my channel. I'm back at the Pickerton claim. A week ago, I put up some trail cams to see if I could catch those claim jumpers on camera. So I'm back here today to check on the cameras. Well, I'm back here today to prospect. I'm here for a full day to see what kind of gold I can find, but I'm definitely checking on the cameras. And if I see claim jumpers on my cameras, you're going to see it here. That's for sure. Anyhow, that's not the real reason I'm here today. Real reason I'm here today is find some gold. So let's go see if we can do it. Finding some gold today at Pickerton. I have turkey vultures and eagles all over the place here. I just scared up two bald eagles. Uh, another vulture right to the other side. Oh, there he is over there. I wonder if there's something dead around here. Dead things on the claim. Maybe a claim jumper. No, that's not nice to say. Anyhow, I'm here. Let's go see what I can find. So the trail camera doesn't show anything and I don't see any new evidence of workings over there in the last week. Um, but there was also a log that was hiding this that rolled in front of it. Uh, I might not have just made it stable enough. Maybe someone tried to block it. I don't know. Uh, and uh, so I'm not sure when that happened or how much footage that would have blocked. Anyhow, new batteries, new card, and she goes back in place. So I'm actually abandoning the area where the claim jumpers were, where we were finding some pretty good gold in favor for a previous spot I worked. I want to see what a new season has done to a spot that I worked out pretty good last year. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run the gold bug, ooh, the gold bug 2 over some spots and see if there's any signals. There are two deer on the far side right now. Just walking up, grazing as they go. Hello, dear. There's an interesting one. Definitely have to check that one out. Another one right there. Oh. There's a bright one. Now I'm going to put away the good camera, pull out the waterproof camera. Not that I need it waterproof, it's just that this dust on the Fraser River killed my last camera. Uh, I have ordered a new lens for it, but eh, I don't want to kill this camera. So I'm going to pull out the waterproof one. The audio on it's not so good, but let me know what you think about the video quality moving here forward. Piece of iron. Need to put the gloves on before I start to bleed. As I keep digging. I did get the other signal in my pan, but it's small. Here's the first one. It's my fingers. Good zip. Let's see if it is anything. It was another piece of iron. There was the first one. There was the second. Let's find gold, not iron. So, the second pan of the day. 
was loaded. I like it. There is five good size flakes, one of which I would even say is big enough to call a picker. Looking pretty good. There's five pieces of gold, one of which big enough I'd call a picker. Four large flakes, a bit of little stuff up top there, but I'm liking what I see. Second pan. First pan only had one speck in it, but there we go. And that was down in that hole there, which is far from being cleared right now, so let's see what else she holds. And that is looking really good. There's the hole. There's another pan. There's still lots of material in it. That's right in line with the crack that had all that big gold. Hoping that crack actually works its way all the way down into that hole. And the very next pan is the very next picker. And two other large flakes. There's some shade. Let's see that moves any better. There we go. Nice picker. Two other large flakes. That hole's treating me well. Here comes a helicopter flying down the valley. I should note that I did swing the metal detector over this hole here before I started taking the rocks out, and it showed nothing. But I am down almost a foot now, so that metal detector is not going to pick up those small flakes at a foot's depth. I guess they're not small flakes, those big flakes, but still not going to pick them up at a foot's depth. Ooh, I thought I saw going down and down and down. Let's go see what this one holds. So the next two pans from that hole had nothing. So I think I was just working surface stuff. I think I will start moving up towards the spot where it had the really big gold. And hopefully the cracks there have some gold that washed down into that top spot. Let's hope. Pulled out the good camera for this one because this has to mean something. Can you see it from here? Look at that. Two good sized pickers right there. I just took a handful from there as well, so I'm not sure if there's anything in my handful, but maybe I'm onto something. It's when I start seeing them on bedrock or seeing them out in the dirt like this that I start doing really well. Two of them. One, two. Now, if that doesn't get me your subscriptions, I don't know what will. Two flakes pulled off a of bedrock. Beautiful pickers. Please, if you watch my stuff, if you enjoy watching my stuff, and you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Now, let's see what else is down in there. Ooh, I need my gloves. And another one, a twofer. I'm on the gold. <laughs> There's one right there, one right there. Oh, 
This is amazing. After a quick swap out of batteries, I get to show you the next two pieces. One, two. Now that one there, I can't quite see it properly. It's definitely buried in the dirt. That one's on the surface. Let's pull it. Let's get my fingers in on that. Nice. That will go in the pan. And then this one. It's a little nuggy. Pull her out of here. Well, it's not a bad nuggy. That's a nice little nugget. We'll get her in the pan too. I keep having to pull out my good camera. I don't want to do this. I don't want to wreck another camera at this Pickerton claim. I can see dust getting out already. In she goes. That's at least four pickers in there. Well, three pickers and one nugget. I was expecting to go up this way into this crack, because that's where I found the good stuff before, but the good, this stuff seems to be lying in the horizontal crack. In the linear crack. Okay, my pan is full, and you go pan that out, then grab all this stuff and pan it out. I know there's at least four pickers in there. I forgot to bring my half-inch arbor classifier today, so I'm using the half-inch, you know, plastic one. At this claim, I insist on using a half-inch classifier because there's a chance of big half-inch nuggets. But the arbor classifier is much better. There's a link in the description to Arbor Classifiers if you'd like to get your own. 10% discount if you use my discount code. But today I'm stuck with the lesser of the classifiers. Okay. More than four. More than four. Let's hope there's not less than four. I trust my panning skills. Although for some reason I'm taking it slower than usual. Most of this pan was filled up with um, overburden. So most of that material was just, you know, crap stuff. Hopefully I'm on it like I was before. I had one pan when I hit it big over there that had 15 pickers in it. I think it was 15, maybe 12, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. It was a lot. Okay, here's the reveal. Oh my goodness. I'm on the gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pickers and one nuggy. That's what we're talking about. Does that get me your subscription? Wow. I'm on the gold. There it is, one pan. That was one pan. Seven pickers and one nugget. I love this place. Oh, let's get digging. Now, let's fill the next pan.
another one. Take another one. Get her in the pan. Look at that. There it is. Another picker. In the pan she goes. Some people give me a hard time for uh, seeing gold and then putting it back in my pan. I just find it easier to deal with it that way. Rather than trying to find the sucker bottle, put it in, break away from digging. I know I'm not going to lose it in my pan. I'm confident enough in my panning skills. Once it's in there, it's safe. Now here's pan two from that same hot spot. I only saw two pickers go in, but let's hope there's at least two more so they can go on a double date or something like that. Gotta make sure all these rocks get washed nicely. There's a lot of clay here. balls. Need some more pickers. After I said I'd give all my patrons a picker from Pickerton, I seem to get a lot more patrons. I have to thank all my patrons out there while I'm doing this. Your support goes a long, long ways in helping me go prospecting and especially to make these videos for everyone to watch. Without your support, I don't think I would be able to keep up the YouTube thing. I would still be panning, of course, because I love it. But making these videos for everyone to watch takes a lot of time, effort, money, as I have to buy a new camera. So thank you patrons so much for your support. And it gives me something to talk about while I am panning away. Ooh, there's a chunk of gold out in the back edge. Just a little one. I'm agitating a lot to make sure those clay balls in there get broken up. May have to fast forward some of this. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, hoping for at least four pickers. Hoping for at least four. Oh, look at that. I would say that there's four pickers and one little nuggy. Four pickers, one little nuggy, a whole bunch of big flake. Nice looking spot. Love those little nuggets. Nuggets, nuggets everywhere. Let's hope. So I was just playing around with the Garrett uh, pinpointer, see if it set off on anything. It's most sensitive setting, so it's not necessarily big, but there's something right there. Let's see if I can pick around and find it. Oh, nice. I see it already. There's an edge of it sticking up right there. Oh, ooh, it's big. I just dropped it down into that hole. Hold all the water. It's down there. Now to get it out. Well, it took me almost an hour at digging away at that, but I finally got it out of that bottom of that crack. 
I'm not sure if it was smart spending a whole hour to get one piece. I probably could have got ten in the time it took me to take that one. But I was determined. I was going to get it. And I got it. And it's definitely the nicest flake of the day. Now, let's go see if there's more down there. So I'm into some very different material here. There's actually pebbles. Like river run pebbles. And up to now, everything has been broken up shale. So I'm into some old gravels of some sort. And in those old gravels, what did I find? A freaking huge, whoop, there goes, freaking huge flake and another good picker. Okay, so it's a different looking flake for sure. Sort of uh, shiny on the surface, dull down the low points. And it's big. Really big. Very cool. Found another piece sitting on bedrock. Can't quite tell how big it is. I see the top edge of it right there. Let's hope it's another big flake. Or the top edge of a big nugget. Let's get this out of here. Oh, no, it's not that big. Oh, it's actually not bad size though. That's pretty good. Ah, did I drop it? Damn it. I think I just dropped it down into there. Oh, hey, there's another one. Hey, there's another one. Right beside it. Oh, hey, that one's good. That one's big. Let's see how big that one is. Ooh. Oh, I got a big one. It's here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, make sure the camera's on. Can camera see this? Big, big flat flake. Or maybe it's thick. Who knows? Oh. I just lost the other one. The other one's down there somewhere. Let's see. Come on. Half ouncer. Yeah, right. Oh, there we go. It's thin. Oh, but it's huge. Look at that. Oh, God. That's got to be two grams, two and a half grams. Let's say three. Let's not drop him down there. Oh, that is a gorgeous nugget. Right beside that first good picker, which I've now lost. I will get it back. It's my day of dropping gold. Oh, nuggets, nuggets everywhere. This is the first real nugget today. Uh, the other two were... They're, I call them nuggies because they're they're small nuggets, but that is amazing. Ooh. It was right there. I just went and retrieved that uh, piece I dropped into the water, and what did it have with it? Another nugget. That was down in the bottom, that could have been in the bottom or up with where that other nugget was. I just cleared both spots and threw my pan. There we go. It is a nugget day for me. Big nuggets, little nuggets, all sorts of nuggets. Lots of nuggets at Pickerton. So this crevice that's been full of nuggets Seems to have dried up for me. I've just done about six or seven pans with nothing but specks. So, I think I'm going to call it around this spot for a day. I'm going to go over to where we were doing so well last time and see if now the water's low, if there's anything that looks promising down below. Now looking at this at low water, this trench right here looks very interesting. Looks almost identical to the trench on the other side that uh, had so much in it. I need to clear down into their next trip in here and see what it holds. Well, it is getting late and Pinkerton has decided to turn off the valve for me. I haven't found anything since really that big nugget and those little, little no, the big nugget and the little nugget and the flake with it and then nothing. So, I went and metal detected for a bit. I found three signals that I'm gonna leave till next time. 
because uh, it's another spot that I want to work. And I'm going to just leave that until the next time I'm here. I'm going to pin this place up a little bit. I've put the trail camera back in place, but of course I'm not going to show you where. And of course I'm going to show you the gold. Let's go find the gold and show it to you. And here's the gold. We've got a whole bunch of big flakes. Oh, I'd say 15 to 20 pickers, including two very large ones. And of course, what everyone wants to see, four nuggets. Little guy, two mediums, and a big. Anyone want to guess how big that big one is? Put it in the comments right now, because I'm about to show you. He's a biggie. I would guess two and a half grams on that. That would be my guess. I will weigh it all when I get home. I'm guessing three and a half to four grams there. Not too bad. Actually, really freaking good. That was an awesome day at Pickerton, even though it turned off the valve for the last half of the day. No gold. First half, it was smoking. And there it is, the nugget crevice. Nuggets, nuggets everywhere. Crevice full of nuggets. Woohoo! Ah, oh, to this crevice still to work. Now that's a whole lot more nuggets and pickers to give away to my patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, there's a link at the end of the video. Click on the link, it'll take you off to Patreon. A $10 pledge goes a long ways, and I will be giving every one of my $5 and greater patrons a piece of gold from Pickerton, including the stuff I found today. This video ended up to be very long, so we'll make this weigh in real quick. The big nugget ended up to be 2.36 grams, 2.37. Let's see all the little nuggets together, actually. Big one, medium one, other medium one, and the little guy. The nuggets all together come out to 2.749. And we'll throw in all the rest of the flakes. And all together, the gold comes to 4.127 grams. That is one of my best days on Pickerton. Absolutely. And there it is, the beautiful gold. So I had to move up out of the wind to sign off because this new camera doesn't have a wind muff on its microphone yet. But this was Pickerton, my favorite all-time claim. And what a day on Pickerton it was. Wow, I'm guessing four grams in there. Now, not everything I do makes it onto my YouTube videos. Some things just aren't worth a video, but I do post a lot more to Instagram and Facebook. Check it out to see a lot of behind the scenes footage, stuff that doesn't make it into my videos, and maybe hints of oh, videos to come. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you liked it enough to subscribe. Until the next one. Bye. Nuggets, nuggets everywhere. Mmm, nuggets.